Hi guys, it's been a while. This time I am going to showcase my collection of Kenneth J. Lane jewelry pieces. I don't have a lot, but I think this is a substantial amount to um, uh, feature already. I have uh, three pieces here, three bangles that you may have seen um, in my previous videos. I made them myself to look like uh, a Kenneth J. Lane piece. And um, I have vintage pieces here as well. And I have one piece here of necklace and an earring set from Kenneth J. Lane uh, for Avon. So Kenneth J. Lane also designed for the Avon jewelry line. So uh, Kenneth J. Lane was called, or I think it uh, it's safe to say that um, he was the king of fakes or king of bubbles. He died, I think, 2019 or late 2018. And um, I have a book here. It says Faking It. And uh, it's a very, very interesting book. So if you love Kenneth J. Lane pieces and you collect his pieces, I, I would suggest that you buy this uh, book. It's very... Um, I would say uh, it, uh, it has a lot of information about how, of course, how he came about um, designing pieces for uh, for celebrities, Hollywood people, um, first ladies and all that. Because apparently uh, a lot of these Hollywood celebrities uh, really, really uh, love um, the Kenneth J. Lane uh, jewelry. So, without further ado, here we go. <laughs> so, let me start with um, this piece. And uh, this piece is what they call the coral reef or the reef uh, themed uh, jewelry line. So, um, I have seen several, several colors of this version. Uh, they do have it in aqua blue. They also have it in red. Different colors, actually, and different uh, widths. And uh, this one is, uh, is a hinged, single hinged um, bracelet. Okay. And um, this is uh, an enameled uh, bracelet, and it's signed. KJL. So um, if you would like to be more particular or would like to date these, all you have to do is to Google it because he, he did have a variation of um, like uh, his signatures. I think his earlier ones were Kenneth Lane and then there's this Kenneth J. Lane and there, there's this Kenneth trademark and then um, uh, lane and then just different and K period J period L uh, it, you know he did come up with uh, different uh, signatures <laughs> so if, if that's it if if you you're interested in uh, dating your jewelry line so it's very very easy just google it it's interesting because I was I wasn't sure I mean uh, but you would know which ones are vintage. Um, the vintage ones mostly are made in the USA. And uh, um, I'm a bit disappointed because some of the pieces here are marked um, or were marked China and Thailand. So that means, you know, they also have um, outsourced <laughs> the, this jewelry line. So this one just says KJL, so it's a vintage piece, and I love it. And this is probably a one and a half inch, or one and one fourth inch, and um, yeah, it's a single hinge bracelet, and this is what it looks like. It's open, and there you go. It's really quite um, snugged, actually. It's not very... I, I wore this all day yesterday, and I was cooking and just um, doing my normal routine, and it's uh, it's, it's quite comfy. It, it's a bit um, heavy, but, uh, you know, what do you expect? It's chunky, but uh, it's comfortable, <laughs> nonetheless. There you go. Next is... Um, these I call them my twins. Okay, I bought them um, separately on two different sites, 
um, the first bracelet actually was a mistake. I was supposed to get uh, not a giraffe. I was supposed to get a lion head, but uh, they sent me this giraffe. So anyway, I ended up liking it anyway. So I'm like, okay, I'll just go ahead and keep it. <laughs> so there you go. And um, these uh, pieces would retail. Actually, you just have to um, get the best deal out there. But uh, I've seen them like over one hundred, and the cheapest one would be like forty-five dollars or forty-five to fifty-dollar range. So this is a zebra bracelet, and it's yeah, it's zebra, and it's double-headed. And this is what I'm talking about. It is marked KJL, um, I think Thailand. And the other one is marked. The other one is marked uh, KJL China. It's just a bit, uh, I think they're, they're sold by QVC. Um, it's just a bit, um, I would say, off putting <laughs> I'm I'm a little bit turned off it's an enameled bracelet although it's um perfectly okay it's just that when you see it, it KJL you know why why did they why is it stamped China or Thailand you know it's like I don't like it when they do that guys okay so I have my twins there you go and I have this this is a vintage piece, so it is just marked uh, KJL, and I just love uh, the green eyes and the gold, it's gold tone. These are, um, what's the term, um, the one that doesn't tarnish, it's gold plated, and um, this one sometimes comes like copper, uh, I mean uh, bronze, in intermittent bronze it's weird actually when I go outside and I look at this it, it's like bronze and then you know it's not actually bronze. it's like tricolor but um, there you go this one doesn't lock I mean it, it's not hinged or anything it's just um, stretchy stretchy this is uh, I would say uh, for tiny or um, medium wrists because it's quite snugged on me already but I, I love it it's so it's so elegant guys there you go now uh, we go to this this uh, is called an interchangeable bracelet of uh, open uh, what do they call this is it open hinged okay so <laughs> um, I have four or six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Se I have seven different um, uh, stones that uh, you can, you know, uh, interchange it with. So I, I like the combination of the coral blue and um, aqua blue and the coral um, thing here going on. This is very, very cute, actually. So all you have to do is to twist. And if you want the, um, you could just uh, screw this in. There you go. So you, you can have, I like j j kind of the J-Lane pieces because, you know, it gives you the option of, um, you could actually uh, pair it with uh, absolutely, practically anything. So, um, oh no, what's going on? All right, there you go. So just screw and unscrew. There you go, it's cute. And it has a fall pearl. Yeah, these are fall pearls, fall onyx. I also um, uh, love the, uh, the black ones, the fall onyx. Okay, so, and the last uh, bracelet that I have um, is this. Uh, this is my one of my favorites, guys. It's very comfortable to wear. It fits snugly. So um, I like it. It's I I just have a few bracelets that 
um, really fit me well and this is one of them and uh, it's it looks very very elegant and it looks very chunky and elegant guys um, let me just put it on the this is what it would look like there you go and this one is interchangeable too um, there are other one two three four so the, uh, there are five five themes here but it's quite challenging guys uh, all you have to do is to this is magnetic so there's a little hole there so you just have to there you go and then you can change it with uh, practically anything you want so uh, let's try on the coral green oh jeez what's going on oh never mind guys it's it's very hard so this is what it looks like when it's empty there you go so it's magnetic so all you have to do is to poke it with this thing okay it's very nice now I have this uh, necklace this necklace is uh, a vintage piece and it is Kenneth J Lane for Avon I love 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 this piece guys it's so beautiful and uh, it comes with a clip-on enameled um, this is a butterfly and this is a uh, yeah looks like a, a pupa <laughs> or probably a thing yeah so th these are clip not clip on but um, it's not screw on either so uh, what do you call these um, backing I'm, I'm not, not really sure and it has this baroque style because they're uneven guys they're uneven but it's a uh, very shiny and vibrant it's pinkish and i just love it and this is how you open it um uh it's it's like it has a hinge there and you just have to close it it says kjl for avon so um this is really really beautiful and now we have um, this necklace is uh, a vintage uh, double hinged necklace and look at the back it's uh, like um, brass uh, gold matte finish and it says there made in the USA Kenneth J Lane I love this it's pinkish it's pinkish so this is an old piece so older pieces normally would command uh, you know more box <laughs> okay this one I think this is the this is what uh, QVC because it, when I bought this online I did buy it from um, from QVC but it had the QVC tag I think this was tagged was it 89 or 98 dollars and this is a black enameling but this is uh, China. Look, it still has the glue marks here uh, because I removed, I haven't removed the thing completely, the receipt. This is where the tag was. Okay, so this has never been used, but it says KJL China. It just takes away the exclusivity, guys, if you see China or, you know, something. But this is a beautiful, beautiful one. But it's not very comfortable, guys. I don't know. I don't know if uh, the the quality has gone down because it's made in China. Because this one, so comfy. And these are like, I think, um, when I was researching, late 70s, early 80s. And this one, it's it's single hinged. And it's so difficult. Oh, no, sorry. I corrected myself. <laughs> I stand corrected. It's double hinge, but it's a bit stiffer. And it's a lot harder to, um, to wear. And this one is a piece. Another thing. I love it. It's double hinge. They are called color, color necklace um, enameled. I, I love, love the, the um, confetti balls here 
confetti dots and of course i just love the thing look at that that is the uh, matte finish of a vintage piece while well, this is super shiny for the newer piece that was made in china so there you go okay and now let me just feature the my own diy um is it redundant <laughs> okay so this is actually a brooch this was a brooch so um and then i just added this panther is this panther or something well it, it has you know any any bracelet guys or animal figure um, jewelry that you see it it's just reminiscent of Kenneth J Lane it's like oh wow that's or this looks like a Cartier thing too but it's like a Jaguar thing it's like oh that's so Kenneth Lane that's so Kenneth J Lane so this was um, uh, what uh, it was an epoxy my my husband did it for me <laughs> he got a bit of epoxy and uh, and um just stuck it in here now i'm still looking for a, a paint um they're sold out at walmart maybe when joanne stores or the craft stores would open i would um, go look for a paint so because that was the piece of um epoxy and it's and it's white so all i have to do is to paint it gold so it won't be that uh that obvious look it's not actually really that bad it's just that you know i'd like my pieces to be perfect and this one i just love this this is a very old brooch also so it's not really really leveled but um who cares you know um some of these pieces, even Stanley Hagler, they're, they're sticking out. They are not actually really, really flat. So, um, yeah. So, there, that's what I'm talking about. That's the epoxy. So, all I have to do is to color it blue. And, yeah. So, that's a very nice one. And this one is the closest to a Kenneth J. Lane. <laughs> um, because, um... These cuffs are called Maltese um, cuff pieces, Maltese cross, and uh, it's just so Kenneth Lane. And um, this uh, this is one of my favorite uh, um, plastic bangles. It's so wide, guys. It's almost two inches in width. And this one... Um, it, it's quite um, eerie, guys, you know. <laughs> this is actually a pendant, pendant necklace. And it looks like the Pope's thing. When, when I saw this, I was like, it's quite eerie. But anyway, um, it's nice because I used it one time. Um, I used it as a pendant when I went to church. It's huge, huge, guys. This pendant is huge. And um, yeah, so... It, so it fits perfectly in here and uh, it's not so bad you can see the um the epoxy over there and you the epoxy over there but uh, it's not really bothersome so there you go this is what it looks like yeah. so um that's the closest one i i one that i did that i would um, attribute to to Kenneth uh, Lane. I'm sorry, I should have put it <laughs> back. And of course, uh, this one. So, and talk about this book. It actually details all his interactions, most of his interactions with um, with a celebrity. So, let me just give you an example. This one, all his Maltese cross bracelets. Look at that, that's Coco Chanel. Oh no, it's not Coco Chanel, it's the Diana Vreeland. Okay, so um, they're actually very expensive. See the Maltese cross. I'm a little bit confused, guys, because his earlier pieces, they were made from um, semi-gemstones uh, to um, 
real gems to semi so i'm just uh really really confused because i know that um not a lot of them were uh, real ones but uh some of them are really really expensive there's this woman who had this um he, who auctioned off 200 or 300 pieces of his uh, vintage kenneth lane and it fit fetch uh I think two million dollars. So that was uh, not uh, a lo quite a long time ago, probably two or five years ago. So um, yeah, so there you go. And um, yeah, so it's it's uh, it's a very very interesting uh, book. So I hope I didn't uh, bore you guys. So um, there you go. Bye.